You said that Barack Obama will reduce the cost of health care by $2,500 per family. My question is how? One of the strategies of reducing health care is to actually have folks who are uninsured have a premium floor. So having um, increased public subsidy for low-income workers, having an opportunity for more employers to afford health care actually reduces the number of people who come in through an emergency room door. We're all paying for that. If you have health insurance right now, you are paying for the most expensive, least effective care for everybody who's uninsured. We figure in Kansas, it's about 16 cents out of a dollar is for uninsured care, which is more hospitalizations, more expensive care. So insuring more people, driving dollars toward preventive care, focusing on wellness issues, focusing on childhood obesity, getting folks drugs at the front end instead of chronically ill, lowers the cost overall. Secondly, a, a piece of the puzzle is about administrative costs. About 30 cents of every healthcare dollar is, doesn't pay for any drug, any medicine, any doctor visit. It's overhead billing. It's the number of forms you fill out. I don't know how many of you have health insurance. I have four different cards to access the state of Kansas health care plan. The, my secretary has five cards that are different than my four cards because she's in a slightly different variation. And that goes on over and over and over again. So everything from e-prescribing to uh, unified provider forms. So one doctor fills out one form and the billing goes across the board and you share those records. Cuts costs, lowers accident rates. I mean, right now people get the wrong drug at the wrong time for the wrong reason because the records don't talk to one another. That also brings costs down. And third, a major, major effort on wellness and prevention program, particularly on children. If we lower the number of folks who end up with diabetes, if we lower the number of folks who end up with chronic health disease, if we decrease the number of smokers, smoking is the most um, cost-related choice that people make. Um, so those three areas, in and out, losing a little weight helps. All of those dramatically bring down health care costs. But it starts really with getting a payment system under everybody, getting a health home for everyone, and coordinating the medical care they get. I come from a very Republican family. God bless you. Brother, mother, father, the whole works. So I got my mother at least to be a Hillary supporter. And she lives in Florida, typical 87-year-old mother. But her concern now that Barack Obama has now been the candidate, for, not candidate, but the uh, presidential uh, uh, candidate for the Democratic Party is just the same as my sister, who's another Republican, and that is fear. She's mm -hmm. worried about what's happening in the Middle East. And let's face it, that the Bush administration and the Republican Party played on the fear ticket in the last election. and. Um, I'm afraid that it's going to be the same thing here. I mean, you just saw Iran firing missiles uh, in, the, uh, in the Gulf. Uh, Israel's upset. Something's going to happen, and we need to be ready for this as Democrats. And Barack Obama's uh, campaign committee has to be ready to respond if indeed they play on the fear ticket again. Do you have any comments? Well, I'll start, and I'm sure others want to leap in. First of all, I don't think there's any doubt that the fear card will be played all over again. Mm -hmm. um, all they can do in this election is go back to the old playbook. Uh, you will be told that Barack Obama personally is frightening, that um, you know he's not ready, he's not experienced, and what we need is the same old uh, stuff. I think there can be nothing more frightening in the idea of Dick Cheney and Donald yeah. Rumsfeld. And that was the most experienced foreign policy ever put together in the United States of America. And they have made a major disaster of our foreign policy in this country from day one. And not only a financial disaster, and not only have we lost lives, we have far more enemies and far fewer allies than we did at the beginning of this administration. We are the best recruitment agent for terrorists uh, around the world uh, that hate America it has become a popular slogan in way too many parts of the world. Redeploying our troops to places where terrorism really exists is a smart strategy. 
redeploying our troops back home for rest and making sure we are a strong force once again. I mean, right now, I am very frightened also. I am frightened about the fact that we are totally ill-equipped to respond if something else occurs anyplace. We have stretched our army and navy and we're way too thin. We, we all are commanders in chief of the National Guard. Our National Guard men and women have been 40% of the boots on the ground in Iraq and Afghanistan from the beginning of this war. In every state in this country, they've been pulling down supplies. When a National Guard unit gets deployed, their equipment gets deployed with them. The Black Hawk helicopters that Janet needs to fight forest fires in uh, Arizona are gone. Jennifer's equipment that's needed to respond to a Michigan disaster are gone. In Kansas, we have a few little tornadoes along the way. Uh, they're gone, and they haven't been replaced. Six years later, every state in the country is missing. You talk about something we should be frightened about. We are so ill-equipped in this country. And I really want to address this to the Hillary Clinton uh, supporters, because we really, we just had no time to waste on this. I just think there is an urgency here because we have a moment to change the direction of this nation. And I think if we, I, I would urge you all that we need to put, um, put that behind us and unite at, toward a new America, an America that we can all be proud of, that our children will be able to prosper in. And I'm just, I, I would hate to see um, Senator Clinton's supporters uh, take a back seat in this election or decide to take a pass even in organizing and getting moving because the same things she was advocating for are the things he's advocating for. I mean, the daylight between them is nothing compared to the daylight between them and John McCain. So we are one.